Hi there, welcome to this build of a futuristic looking flying wing. Now this is the Ion, designed by Peter Fisher in 1957 and he produced it as kits by his company Performance Kits. Now we're building this Ion from a great set of plans that I obtained from Derek Scott on his website and he's got a whole host of different plans at a very reasonable price. And if you want to get a copy of these or have a look see what else he's got, have a look in the description below this video and there'll be a link to his website. Now in the last video I got the fuel tank fitted and the fu uh, fuselage finished. And during that video I said that I was going to be using a 10cc tank connected by quite a decent length of fuel pipe and the engine is a PAW, so that's a, a Progress Aero Works 5.5, so that's 0.55 cc. Now, I said in that video I was going to be doing this video just showing the, a test really of how much fuel this uses, so hence what size tank I would need, and then looking at the size of tank and um, testing that it will run okay or draw fuel on this long length of, uh, of fuel pipe. So if you take a look at this, this bit of video, this shows the engine in the test stand running and just shows how uh, long it will run on a 10cc or on 10 cc's of fuel to give me an idea of whether I need a bigger tank or a smaller tank or whether actually 10cc was fine. Well you saw on that video that 10cc actually lasted just over 6 minutes and I reckon that is probably a good time because we're not talking about 6 minutes necessarily of flight time because we need to start the engine, we need to prime the engine, sorry, we need to start the engine, maybe run it on the ground for, uh, I don't know, a minute, get it warmed up, fiddle about and then launch it. So we've got probably five minutes of maximum flight time, which if this is flying nicely, which I, I have concerns about how twitchy it's gonna be with the radio control, but anyway, if it's flying nicely, that's quite a good flight time. But we have to remember, we don't need to fill the tank. We can use a, a graduated syringe, and we could just put seven cc's of fuel in the tank if we want. So I think a 10 cc tank is ideal. So the next thing is to get this 10cc tank in the test stand with this length of pipe and just test that it, uh, it will run okay with that length of draw on the pipe. But also, I mean, I, I'm fairly sure this tank is 10cc, but it will be nice to get a better idea of how long it's going to run. Just check the tank is full. I think there's quite a bit of fuel in there. So we just do that until it comes out the overflow. Now when I was running it on the test 
it was drawing really fine with this kind of distance. You saw the fuel come out of the overflow there. So now we'll get this fired up and we'll see how long it runs. Just increase the compression a little bit. <laughs> there we go, and that's more or less about the same as we got with the uh, with the syringe. So I'm really pleased with that. Well, you can see from that bit of film that actually this tank, which is 10 cc or I believe it was 10 cc, is more or less right. I mean, we got slightly longer run time. It was what about um, six minutes 40 seconds compared to six, uh, just over six minutes on the graduated cylinder. So, but I'm happy with that. And like I said, we don't need to fill the tank, but we have got the capacity there if we need it. And it ran fine on that length of pipe. I was really pleased. I mean, I'm running it on uh, Model Technics D2, uh, sorry, D1000, which has got a higher oil content for this smaller engine. And I've been running it on this seven x four prop. And I think this is a great setup. And um, hopefully this iron will fly really nice once I've got it done. So anyway, I hope you found that interesting and useful and thanks very much for watching and please come back and see how we get on in building and pulling together this lovely futuristic 1950s ion.